St. Vincent and the Grenadines, welcome back to season two of Gender Bias, where we discuss topics that mostly men and women are afraid to speak of. But we are going to be biased here, right? So let me introduce my new panel for you on my right because we ladies need to stick together. <coughs> I have my girl here, Portia. On my left, I have Rashid and I have Voltage. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back. Well, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Well, who's celebrating Valentine's Day? But I'm wondering if some people are wondering what they're doing out tonight or if they should have stayed home tonight or if it made sense to go in out and spend Valentine's Day. So to start off our second season of Gender Bias, the topic is what is the worst date you ever went out on? <laughs> so who is going to take this one? Oh my god. Uh, let me go to Voltage because Voltage is new. So let me ask Voltage, what is the worst date you ever went out on? Well, uh, I met this girl on Instagram, right? Instagram? Yeah. Okay. We had a little thing going. So, like, we talked for like um, five minutes and we felt a little connection. Like, Let quick, me ask you a question. A Before connection. you go any further, did you slide in the DM or? Yeah, I replied to a snap. Oh. Yeah, I replied to a snap. Five minutes connection and five apps. <laughs> <laughs> I replied to a snap and the reply she gave me, somehow I felt something. I said, okay. I say, I write something extra. We had a little taste. Yeah. So we talked, but we didn't talk much more. We couldn't wait to see each other because it was like a quick connection, you know how that was already. Mm -mm. Yeah, so we couldn't wait, wait to see each other. Then we planned to meet on a Friday, then we went to we went to the spot then. We had a couple of beers, drinking, but for that time the girl constantly talking about herself. <laughs> <laughs> and all uh, we should accomplish. Oh. I ain't had no time. Like, she never asked no question about me. She uh, not, no. She was talking, oh yes, this is what she want to become, and this is this, and this is that. So she went on a date by herself? Yeah, it seemed like she went on a single date. Then she should have paid for her date by herself. That's what I'm saying. But I already wanted to leave, but I already ordered food. I'm going to go on a date with a girl and turn into a toad, you know? So yeah, after I ate the food, I just said I have to leave. But I just made an excuse, I have to leave then. I hope she hates this. <laughs> so did you ever contact her after yeah, that? Yeah, she contacted me after. Like when I reached home, so she contacted me and said like, sorry about what happened and if she, we want to go out again. Oh. But I declined it. <laughs> well, you hear more stories about yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> I declined it, I said, I didn't know, like the connection I felt on social media. And you feel it in me like. That's trapped. what happens yeah. when you slide in DMs. Yeah. yeah. Online, online, so. just be so excited. But if she face to face, it's like a whole different story. See me and come live with me to the front. Rashid, yeah, it yeah. seems like you had a worse date. <laughs> let me ask, no, let me ask you this. Have you ever went out on a date? Um, uh, I'm not talking about liming, going listen, down right? the road and listen, ham. Dating, dating and liming, right? Liming is a colloquial term for dating in St. Vincent, yes. okay? So yes. let, me, let me just get us straight. So I've been on a lot of Facts. dates. I go say I've been pan lines. So <laughs> no I've had my fair share of dates. But give me one. I will give you my worst that I could remember because a lot of them I can't remember. Yeah, girls, yeah. man. But girls, man. <laughs> yeah, Did you slide in the DM too? No, no, no. Nah, actually, let me, boy, this is a hell of a story. Um, So, I met this girl. I was actually walking into maybe around Christmas time and you know, I always saw her, like from afar, admired her from afar, and then we decided that we go eventually start linking up. So I saw her in town, got her number, start talking on WhatsApp and thing, and then time went by and we start, you know, live, date. 
And you, you know what I mean? So we had a thing going with our friends, beneficially. And we had this one time, like, we did kind of fall out and then we stopped talking. So then now, for like two, three months after, you say, yo, I hit you up. Let me go out, you know? Um, it's been a while. And she's like, okay, cool. So we meet up at Chill Spot. I went on a pickup, she took forever to get it. So we reach a Chill Spot now. Chill Spot, no more one spot? Yeah, Chill Spot is the Chill Spot for dates, boy. Yeah. Oh. So I think that night the hyper had a party down by Marty's. I remember it clearly. And she said she didn't want to go. So I said, man, yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> so we go Chill Spot first. And we start drinking the whole time when she was Bailey's, Bailey's. <laughs> My new Bailey's is $8, $10 a glass, eh? I ain't nothing, man. I ain't nothing, because every time she buy a drink, I buy something for me to drink, because I didn't want to get left behind her. In terms of the, the you know, the drunkenness. Yeah, but you driving. So you know, yeah, I've been driving. But anyways, I, I go home my liquor. So, she drink about three Bailey's. And then we say, man, what? We're going on Marty's. And she's like, yeah. And then she's like, bam, give me one more for go. I'm like, okay, you sure? She's like, yeah, yeah, go home my liquor. I say, all right, cool. You see the fourth one. I okay. just slow up the thing down and say, well, damn, okay. So on the way to the vehicle, we realized that she can't walk. I can't really walk and thing like that. Uh, and then um, we go inside the vehicle, I'm like, girl, Marty, this ain't happening, eh? We'll go home, baby. Like, yeah. oh, she's, like, she's like, yeah, 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 okay, whatever you say. No, is that, is that a <laughs> wait, oh. wait, it's about to go down here. <laughs> <laughs> so we reach out, we reach out by the door, we stumble inside of the yard. And... Um, like, okay, we take, you know, ganja and do whatever we do and thing like that. And then now, after, like, she lay down and I lay down and it lick us out, hit me, boy. But she take it real bad. My girl started <laughs> 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 She just she head out the window. I just started bumping. Then she pooped. <laughs> I said, oh, oh my god. god. I said, I said, one minute, I go hold my liquor, but I was tipsy as hell. Damn. I was like, I was like, damn, this girl really pooped. And then I just said, <laughs> And then she said, well, she didn't even go to the bathroom. I said, okay, well, she probably watch up. Come on. She better probably upset because it's barely easy to drink. Hmm. Yo, this girl who she had over the toilet said, vomit, oh my god, projectile vomit. And then she said, shit. She said, she's scared? Yes, she thought. <laughs> Damn. So I had to wait to be in the school. <laughs> I don't wipe she must have a girl. Wow. <laughs> that, that, was the, that was the worst, the worst date I ever went on in my life. And the next year I tell all my friends about it. That was Yeah. I had no I had to worry because it was That was a funny that was a funny date. Y'all can't, y'all can't deny it. That was oh, really sure. funny. <laughs> Um, you could top that. No, 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 I can't top that. I swear. That was, that took me away. That's it. My first, my first date, um, I, well, I was talking to this guy, right? For some time. So there was a lot of chemistry. Talk to this guy, tell me, oh, you know, he's single for some time. And, um, he looking for that one chick for set along with. I said, okay, cool. You know, I like this. Because I like people who save, you know? And then, um, we're just like, okay, let's go out on a date. Remember, this is the first time we're actually gonna meet, right? Because uh-huh. we be talking all the time on the phone, whatever. Uh-huh. So we go out. Mr. Look nice, well buff, and you know, we look yes, nice. Yes, 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 yes. 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 So, you know, we're there at a restaurant, we was at French Veranda. Mm-mm. And you know, we had, you money, know, money, we had money, money. lunch and we eat it. And then afterwards, like, he turned around and he just like, you know, like, just give like a double look. And he was like, Jesus Christ, my wife, they here. So I'm like, what? He was like, <laughs> yeah, he was like, what? and Mr. started sweat. So I'm thinking, but he he don't wear no wing, and he tell me. So you never saw like like a girl. Uh, I never hey, remember we used to t- like just a, talk all the time. Like a so it was my first time seeing him in oh, person. So you never asked him before he was married. I did. He told me he sing and he Mr. Uh-oh. Her wife. Hear him but and his Jesus. wife and two of her girlfriends came in. Right here, he telling me. I must tell you if she come over here, I is um he cousin. And I'm there like yeah, I'm on one line. This is crazy. <laughs> cousin. <laughs> I'm so he, didn't, he didn't wait for her to, to come over and, and um meet up, meet him. He gets up and he go over to her and she's like, What are you doing here? I think you tell me you're walking today, whatever, it was a Saturday. He's like, Oh me, my cousin here chilling. So she's like, Your cousin. She said, Yeah, my cousin just flying from Canada the other day, so I just came. Uh, so I had to try the artificial yeah. accent too. Yeah. I'm like, hey. 
<laughs> that was yeah, just how I go with the flow. That's I was right. like, oh, to there, man. That's so, how I go with the flow. Touch it first, man. You take off the thing. She and she draw my mother jump in. I don't know if I should give Portia or Rashid. <laughs> but it seems like Rashid takes the win. I want Vomit hate and hate all. I, want I don't know. I don't think I ever went out on a date. No, nah, well, you had a share your worst experience ever. Yeah. Going out, got going somebody. out with a guy. My yeah. worst experience nearly met me end up by the police station. Bro, well, there you go. Yeah. Share it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was like we were. It's the same hole you meet on this on the phone. You somebody message you. Oh, they get your number from some friend, yeah. and you know this <laughs> this yeah. thing. And then it was like a we just used to just. Like, you know, basic, just, basic. just basic because yeah. he's a friend. Right. And then I knew he had a girlfriend. No, I knew. Because mm-hmm. I am going to find out. I am going to dig. I'm an FBI. I'm going to dig. And he didn't <laughs> even tell He didn't tell me. I said, you have a girlfriend? And he said, no. But I knew he had a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. So I think, oh, let me tell you. It was Bible football opening. And I'm afraid to say this, I was standing up on top of a hill and me and he were stalking. We did it good, you know? We said we wouldn't meet football, we chilling. And we did it. And his girlfriend walked up with a friend. A male friend? No, with a oh, female oh, friend. Oh, oh, you know, you know, ladies don't walk alone these yeah, yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when they see me, I always alone. And she walked, come up with her friend. And her friend was like, look shitty, look shitty, look shitty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I did a stand up. And when he, like, when he saw her, he like, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> and I stand up there, and then she came over and she stand up in front of his face. And then she was like, oh, oh you know how, yeah, 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 yeah. Tara. And she comes stand up in front of me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> As a girl. <laughs> 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 I try <to> move. <laughs> as a girl, you realize I See, didn't. Got, got physical. As a you realize I didn't sneakers and jeans pants, not you? No, <laughs> <laughs> come for kick. <laughs> <laughs> and she come up, she's hyping up herself, and he did a stand up. I said, get your dog. Mm-mm. And she come up, I no dog with you, I no dog with you. <laughs> oh, I just ran down, break the bottle. I said, come. I said, Oh, yeah. <laughs> when like, she said the bottle, she wait, was I like, show, I hear about so it. Wait, do. Oh no, he stand up. He went over in the corner. Yeah, you know this one, so no, in, no, no, but it was just my, me and he ain't behind nothing going oh, on. It was just like... Friends. Friends. friends, friends. But yeah. I don't know. But I don't go on. You explain. But like, he afraid, huh? But he that's probably, my friend and I. He probably was just the public humiliation, you know what I mean? Everybody probably was looking. He, you know what I mean? He probably just didn't even want to. Yeah. And then somebody whispered in her ear, like, yo, yeah, really, wow. What you think, kind of? True, true. Yeah, just so, Shelly, yeah. of it's crazy. Football. Shelly, son of it's crazy, people. And yeah. she just, <laughs> and just, oh, hey, friend, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, so since we already got the worst date scenarios out of here, well, Rashid took a win. <laughs> Rashid took the win. Yes, <laughs> Portia did. came in yes. a close second. <laughs> I'm yes. telling you. Yes. Hey, we'll be right back after these messages. Must go and pay the sponsor. Welcome back, guys. So, according to an article on crack.com, a Russian guy staged his own death in a car accident to propose to his girlfriend. According to him, he probably wanted to make her realize how meaningless and pointless her life would be without him. So hidden in the car after he was fed up with all the tears and crying, he, re- he revealed himself um, alive. And incidentally, she just happened to say yes. So with that, what's the craziest thing you guys ever done for love? Portia. Oh lord. Wow. I got too many. Um, the craziest thing I've ever done for love. I took a tattoo with his name, which I got covered. You're crazy. But I have a tattoo. What what his name? Yeah. Still? Mm-hmm. Still. No, no, no. You got... Oh, you're still together. <laughs> um, yeah, I took a tattoo with his name. I bought a chip. Another chip. 
that I use in a different form to text him all the time, acting like a different female, just to test him. She yeah, can't I fish him. Did. Yes, but she can't I fish him. Did. He's gonna that's, cheat. That's he never did. He said, I have a girlfriend, but we can be friends. That's yeah. not good, you know. I put pressure upon the pan man. Yeah, you may find out about the first spite with yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did it. And I'm so Oh yeah. Girl, you some girls that make fake profiles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You need yeah. to test. You need to test you guys, especially like you and Rashid. Yeah. That, that ain't no trust. That ain't no trust. You, got, dog, you dog. guys like to slide in DMs. That ain't no, trust. no, because we know. Because listen to me. We we know the person. You think we ain't know the person? We wait. Yeah. We have we have put your bait for catch fish. Since you're talking exactly. so much, what's the craziest thing you ever did for? <laughs> the craziest thing I ever did for love. Ooh, Lord. Mm mm mm. <laughs> I don't know. It had one episode, me and a girl be fight, like really, really fight. I go and she walk place. I went to her. Listen, mind you, I just had a baby. You understand me? You need to listen more, Mr. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Fight no. Over, man. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> No, you know, you're not, listen, you know when you're on a person there for this amount of years, it's like you're together, you have no reason to say that you're going outside. I don't have a problem with you having a conversation with another woman because you know yeah. it's not me one they're supposed to talk to but then you see when you reach to a point variety this person don't try that <laughs> you see when you reach to a point where you're leading on let me tell you something huh? I just had a baby and then I come back go back work and my co-workers and then telling me girl you know when you this in Vincent your child father woman up in the place and terror Mind you, my breast leaking heavy at my head hot and me are getting annoyed. Now me walking down the road and I go on her workplace. And I go in because it's like a like a restaurant ish like. And I went in and I was like, hi, how are you? And she said, hi, how are you? I said, you know me? She said no. I said, you don't know me? Just like how Peter denied Jesus. She <laughs> tell me she ain't know me three times. Tell you sure you ain't know me, friend. But I know she hot. Was she be there for? Listen, oh, yeah. As soon as I call the name, she sprite up. It's like she catch a glance. Hey, she on. So I say you don't know me. She say. When she finally like realized. She just say yeah. Oh, you're my matey. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Listen. By the time she could say yes, she had in some braids. Jesus. Oh. Don't and I jump over the counter. Friend, do no, I don't do it. I wrap wrong my hand around the braids and just drag you over the counter. Why are you so aggressive, CC? <laughs> yeah, I've seen this at me too. Listen to me. Yeah, I yeah, give you some blood to stop and she chest on her. Ladies, sir. Hot girl, no fight over man. That's nonsense. <laughs> I guess you want to stamp in she chest. I guess you're then not. Then all I look, yeah. I just see the vehicle coming down. He come out the vehicle, he park the vehicle, he throw the vehicle, he give me a hand, see me. Uh-uh. <laughs> then your vehicle? Both of us. And then listen to me, me and this girl, <laughs> me and this girl is like friends. Like, no? Come on, that's my friend. Like, no. Like, you like a real pit bull, you're like, yeah. submission. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> that's my what? friend. She would message me. She would say, how you doing? You know how the baby say, I'm good. I say, how you doing? Yeah. That's how you're supposed to. You and your, yeah. That's how you and your mate and him are supposed love to live yeah. lovingly. Love love you love girl, how you doing? The lick stuff heal you? How is your hair? No, when I'm done, I know. Like, when I, when I finish, like, when I finish and that old lady run out, she say, oh, God, you're wicked, you're wicked, you're wicked, you're wicked. When I watch them point of fish and I had to help shot back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I say you're good. Uh, <laughs> I got me face up <laughs> I should have taken out the aggression point of he. <laughs> Never yeah. again. This is no man government. <laughs> <laughs> well the craziest thing I ever do for love. Uh, I know you I know you sleep on the steps. You go tell them what I You sleep on the steps? <laughs> Outside? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I why do I sleep on that bed? Oh right? Um I mean, there was after carnival. My girlfriend at the time. Oh god, everybody goes. Last to year? No, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> not big man, no, I'm gonna sleep in my car. <laughs> yeah, man. No, I'm jealous, man. <laughs> yeah. But um it was after carnival and then like it was really late. Boy, was it 10, 9 o'clock in the in the night? Die late! Shut up, four catival here late. Oh yeah, it was banned yeah, off the right, road. Right, right. Them time I don't want no vehicle, so my girlfriend, every time she going to live in town, so I had to walk and walk home, buy shit and thing, and then I'm like, boy, oh, girl, you know? I think I know. Uh-huh. You know, you know? Yeah, man. So, you know, fun, you know? And then, I said, boy, I real sleepy. I said, boy, me, you can get one now, 
It's okay, you can sleep it. Eh. I do hear this shout, boy. Um, mommy, you don't say no. I can't find the one thing, boy. Come, she's so coming in the room. Oh, in the morning, he pop, 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 knock on the door. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, jump off the bed, boy, what? I'm like, shit, my game will hide in the closet. Suppose she's coming in for something. Suppose she look under the bed. No, but hey, what? The bed big. The it. bed big. So that's why I do what? I jump right up under the bed. Oh, my God, right in like the corner. Like, up under the headboard. Small enough. Yes, right in the corner. Right in the corner. Yeah, small enough. Small enough. <laughs> you see me on the side of the bed, you know, right this morning. So how you come out? <laughs> Man, I'm hold on, I'm hold on. Let me tell you my story now. So in the, in the heat, everything, when the mom and they come in, you stop talking, sit down, pop better. Because she watching, know. Let, and then they're watching for the no, 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 I can't have intuition. So she knows somebody in the room? No, she, she ain't me know, she ain't oh, me know, oh. she ain't me know. Um, so I did buy them a dog, right? No, I did give them a puppy. A pool at the time. And boy, as soon as they do a bus, you see he run coming, boy. <laughs> Then he come right under the bed. He see me and he watch me right in the face. He ain't never been no fool under the bed. He just run right under the bed. Come to me. Don't so smell you. <laughs> hey, 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 mommy. It's way, way here under the eating. Oh, it's some plate I leave underneath. Ew. Ah. That's what they say. So she mommy will look at that. I'm like, oh my god, this dog here. So I had to give him a little box. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> when he get it, he start to scan up his face and then he just run. He go back upstairs and see me. Oh my god. So then. So she want me gone now, see me, put me clothes, sneak upstairs, no, I didn't go upstairs, downstairs, walk and I think she did looking up the steps and think, okay, go on, go on, go on, and then I run, <laughs> run out the yard, run out the road, it was 6 o'clock in the morning, 6.30, yeah, you go but she be you see me, Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and but I ain't not. Yeah, yeah, you ain't catch Jack so is back. What's up? <laughs> and Red Van. <laughs> in life no, no, I read him. Somebody kept <laughs> Reggie Star. Reggie Star. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Reggie Star. That make us go home. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah. Bro. I need a break. I need a break. That always a break. Yeah. Always. Tell them what this is. What does I need to know about the sleep on steps? Well, the craziest thing I did full of was, boy. Hey, don't let me laugh. I went, um. Well, the girl I used to date, my ex, like she from Stokes. So I went down. Um, mango season. Yeah. We have a full mango. Then. So yeah, we went to Stokes and uh, opening, football opening. <laughs> so yeah, we did have a good time. I think all is good. By the night night, I will go reach home. So, how is the first time we get full? Really? Like, yeah, spend a good time together. Yeah, so I say, nah. I stay in late to get. Yeah, we want to leave. Yeah. 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 I, say, yeah. I, I put that extra. Okay, Gucci. Yeah, yeah. Each I, each I, each I beg wife, funny. <laughs> so yeah, I don't walk out, go home, cause she live right above, not too far from the park. So where you live? Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wow. So yeah, followed her home. We were in the yard, dog barking, barking. So we end up well, kind of blind spot, and they kissing whatever. Mm. I mean, after, you know, like when guy kissing guy, they put hands on place. So after I put my hands on place, I realized it's a part. And before I met that move, I, I, probably, I probably took like, I probably took like an hour and a half to make that move. <laughs> yeah. like, like, if I didn't know before, I don't know. Wait on God, why don't yeah. I know God? So, <laughs> I don't God. so, when I check the time, it's already like, minutes to 10. So I see in my mind now, why we chill out now, boy? <laughs> we really do it. But why she never just tell you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why Bad she ain't tell me? Bad mind. Hold oh, on. So, uh, she doesn't love I kiss. She said she never kissed somebody. So good before. <laughs> you believe? Yeah, well, I like I'm just saying, well. Woman well, goes anything. Well, 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 come to me, she was a boy. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> so, they kiss him, kiss him, and yeah. So, from that, she said, she going inside now. I say, okay, so I say, I'm coming in. Yeah, I'm coming inside. <laughs> I can't come inside because the parents. I could parents come in, them. please. So, oh, and at that time, a friend was there with me. A guy named JR, bro. Oh, I made it too. JR made it too. Bro. So, yeah. So, yeah, after Ooh. I went, JR, oh, yeah, in the meantime, when I be kissing the girl and stuff, he was there, he called him a phone. Boy, we did. We're ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> okay, JR, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> yes, yeah, and he went to go and that time they didn't get a car yet, so. I didn't get my Yeah, so, bruh, 
after we leave, you can go inside. I say, boy, we're going to do that, boy. I don't go to meet you now. We just say, boy, I ain't going to bandage you. See what you do? Watch a woman, you know. I can't think of a sample. Yeah, what's for talk? Tutus. Now, meet a shop. Not too long from where she lives. Meet a shop there. We sit up by steps. So we wait and see if I'm going to pass. Where are they waiting? Bap. Job sleep. Job sleep. <laughs> Wake up. When you check it out, if you get a good, more comfortable spot downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Just sleep there. We'll come out in the middle of the night. Yeah. That was the worst experience ever. Oh Jeez. You slept <laughs> on a step. Yeah, like this. Like. <laughs> I I didn't lie, I didn't lie, don't walk. I didn't, I didn't sat down. I was like this. Yeah, Yo, you gotta walk with feet, then. That's it, yeah. I, don't, I didn't know him all the time. Yeah. I didn't know him all the time. I could have walked, serious. You gotta walk, I could've, I could've walked, see us. You gotta walk, go home. But I only make a walk like that. Diamonds, I know the crazy thing I did for love. Diamonds. What happened, diamonds go jack? But you had for diamonds football? Yeah. But you had. What? <laughs> will you be diamonds? Uh, diamonds up yeah. in diamond diamonds country. Conchi. Conchi. Yeah. So you walk out of the long gap, they then walk go jack song. I but you, you had. <laughs> so I think we got. But coming back to the guy in. No, we didn't get Porsche. Yes. Yes, yes. we did get yes. Porsche yes. crazy. Yes. But um, yes. who won this round? <laughs> Sleep on steps. Bolted. Sleep on the bed. Cousin woman. Bolted. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Serious. But coming back to the Russian. No, no, no. Sissy actually won that one. Because yeah. Sissy fights and everything. Yeah. Nah, nah, no, nah, 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 but you does hard. You see people sleeping on steps. Oh man! <laughs> Especially the name himself. You know, you know, you Yeah. So I think yeah. we want to do now one day. There you have it. We shared our craziest moments. Now we take a word from our sponsors. All right, guys. So welcome back. Now you know that they say love changes everything, and a romantic, heartfelt gift is what most of us look forward to at Valentine's Day. So I need to know, what is the tackiest gift you guys have ever gotten for Valentine's? We'll start it off with Cece. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. <laughs> you don't? I don't. <laughs> but you still would probably get a gift yeah, around yeah. Valentine's. Because yeah. yeah. uh, you're not ugly. No, but then when we used to get gift, that was in secondary school. Do you remember? Yeah. You used to have like these, little yeah, little like you used to get the sweetie and, and stuff. Right yeah, right and you're right. And you know, I never... Tackiest gift? I, I don't collect tackiest gift because I tell you what I want. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boss lady that. No, I don't. No, listen to me. If I want, if I see something and I like it, then I'll see. I like it. Then you can, you should know me. If we're, if we're liming or dating or whatever, you should know what I like. I am simple. I like simple things. Panty. Come on. Hey, we're t- Oh no, I have those already. Oh. Dude, the <laughs> 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 All right, so <laughs> Rashid, what is the tackiest gift you ever got? Oh my God, I knew you guys would say this. Um, yeah, I could tell you about my best gift, right? <laughs> I'll tell you about my best gift ever. No, we need Valentine's. the tackiest. And I will tell you about the tackiest, tackiest okay. gift I ever got for Valentine's. So. Takiyas first. I used to play this online MMORPG game called Conquer Online. I don't know if people out there know it, but Rashid is a nerd, and I used to play this game called Conquer Online. MMORPG stands for Massive Multiplayer Online Role Playing Game. So inside of the game, you play, you would class up with your weapons, you know, you would buy your weapons in the game, and you level up your character and stuff like that. So I actually was dating, I met this girl named Sarah Darabos from Romania. 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 Oh. That's like in Miami Romania. That, that's real far. That's real far away. That's in Europe. Um Man's that's in fam. Europe, Europe Man's right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so and then you know we start we met on different games and we started playing this one together and then you know we've been there for like almost two years. Um and Yeah, then, but wait, Romania? No. <laughs> no, but we used to video that's chat. We used to video chat. It was love, okay? I was really young. Like really young. Probably like 13, 14. Anyway, this is the tackiest gift, what's your mouth now, man? So inside of the gear, now my girl went hunting and she found like some, if anybody used to play Kanka online, my girl find some meteors, she find some gems, she find some armor, the thing, not even a super or elite armor, no, refined armor, she bring gimme. And 
<coughs> and, and bring that for me with 100k, which is 100,000 gold. Not even a million, not even a two million, 100,000 gold. Anyway, it's like, I said, all right, she give me the thing, boy. I was like, this is what I really get for Valentine's. And I buy, I buy she super armor. Thing. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> man, I done with the girl. I done with the girl, right? I go, text your account, kill like 100 people. Don't she black name, so she go jail in the game and hack your account and everything. And then I just, I just done with she. If my love, if my love only what I meet here, 100k and I refine armor, girl, you don't love me. We done. You was a side piece. Oh shit, man. Anyways, my best. No, it was a no. Like, no, no a real, real. real no. I tell yeah. you, I think it's a joke. But, but my best gift. Oh my god. Ain't no best gift. I got man. I want to tell you about my best gift. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Boy, this girl, I'm in there with boy. She gone. She buy some lingerie. Woo! Yeah, what? I just put it on for me with some chocolate syrup, and that's the end of that. <laughs> Voltage, your best, your worst gift. Your uh, tackiest gift. Tackiest uh, gift. My tackiest gift was a teddy bear. <laughs> We're getting good to hug up with it. Okay, so a teddy bear okay. is cute. So here, my question: What did you buy her? That is your question. Pardon. <laughs> 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 pillow, like, pillow, like, pillow. A full set, yeah. yeah. A what? A full set, yeah. A full cake, set of what? Cake and thing, cake. Cake? Bottle of wine, yeah. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. 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 She said good, but yeah. she didn't tell you there. That says, I love you with the heart yeah. inside I'm of it. I'm a smile, so. I can't <laughs> you can't, you can't have a corner with that. <laughs> I can't cut you can't with that. You can't even do it in peace. No. With that, you can tell you, baby. <laughs> She didn't say, you know she, right? she, she give me the teddy bear with like a note by the side that say, okay. No chocolate either? Eh, uh-huh. no could go. No care? Like you know, could I say like, let's go to a hotel later. With a teddy bear. I'll be a couple of massage or whatever. Oh, with a note, just a teddy bear saying just I love you. Just a teddy bear in a yeah. gift bag. So she say, I love you. So she never buy you no credit? No credit. Nothing. And she want me call. Get we done. And you get and you give her cake. Cake and a bottle of wine. Moscato. <laughs> no, no, he cheap. I'm going to see um, $20. Oh, but miss. $25. $25. I'm going to buy $20. We need to call the call the Rossi. We need to call the Rossi. It doesn't matter. It's the it's talk, the talk that, that counts. That counts. Mm, yes. Yes. So, so Portia. That oh, that's your work? Yeah, that's Ta- Portia, what's your? Uh, my talk is, guess, was probably underwear. It's like, he bought me some underwear for Valentine. I was like, wear those and see me checking the little bag. And they were like granny panties. I was like, Mother, hey, my yoga buggy. <laughs> <laughs> I wear them. <laughs> well, here, here, here. It's cheap. I can cheat. Exactly. Not Shalice. even some thongs. Shalis. <laughs> A gift like that would be relative for people like Porsche. You see that bottle? Uh, I want to buy some panty too. Trust me, boy. Trust me. Trust me. What? No, but then, not like. Granny, granny panty. Not, not granny. Valentine. No, not granny panty. Granny panty, tell me. Wear them. Money man, was it just like bingo bag? Come maybe, that, maybe that was his fetish. Are you thinking about like Jabi? Yeah. No, you know some people that have some weird fetish. Yeah. Maybe they, he like granny panties. That's, yeah, that's maybe that's maybe he custom to see you in those nice lace butterfly cuts. Mm. You know. I probably probably no. not men just too big and they look like granny panties. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I know I used to date, I used to date this girl and she had a big giant bottom and then and you see her pants and I hold up her pants and I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but when did you have they look so nice, eh? I know, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Chelis, what's your tackiest gift? Chelis! Oh, no. Oh, my bad. I don't celebrate, right? I don't celebrate right. Valentine's Day, but I give, no, I have my son. I, I, give, I give him Valentine's Day. Yeah. You know the sponsor, the same sponsor paper. I will fill out the whole paper day with him alone and just give him okay. and get him other uh, stuff. Uh, That's sweet. That's nice. Okay, speaking yeah. of sponsors, we'll be right back after we take a word from our sponsors. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Street Talk, sponsored by Miss Call Tech and Jams Car Rental. So we're here on the square in town, gender bias in the street, and we're just gonna be going around asking people some questions. So um, I'm here with my friend, and we wanna ask you a question, right? What's the tackiest gift you ever got for Valentine's? I sure you get some crappy gifts in your life already. All the girls are running the dumb since I get a big one. <laughs> All right, let me tell you, the worst gift I ever gave, boy, 
is our uh, is our shades. <laughs> A shades. A shades and a boxers, I think. A shades and a boxers. <laughs> yeah, I think so shades are expensive shades, dog. Yeah, so, so we be a Fuji, a Fuji shades. Yeah, a Fuji, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Respect. Uh, all right, I here with my friend Shiaka, right? I know it's a real hot girl, not you? No, no, no. You know, hot girl. Retired. You cool out. Retired hot girl. Okay. She's a retired hot girl, right? Um, so I want to ask you a question today. What is the tackiest gift you ever got for Valentine's from a guy? Sex. <laughs> <laughs> Some tacky sex? <laughs> Alright, sex. Okay, so what about the sex that was so tacky? I mean, like, I know that sex and my sex was turned up. So... The head, the head. The head. So he, he, he be with some teeth or something he bites. <laughs> I'm in commerce. You didn't... Co oh, she didn't, um... She didn't orgasm, so that's why it was... Oh. Oh, forget about it. Okay, uh, all right then. Thank you very much. Mm, all right. What is the tackiest gift you ever get from a girl? Tackiest gift. Tackiest gift. Um, that's a good question, bro. Um, it could be like a a, a, box, a spider man boxers. I get spider man boxers already. Yes, yeah, spider man boxers. Um, actually, man, they never give me nothing. To be honest with you, you know. So that's really tacky. <laughs> <laughs> Girls don't really give give gift like that, you know? Yeah, what is just they just wanna get. They just wanna get. You know? Okay. Alright then. Um so well, I'll ask you another question. What's your best best date? Worst date ever go on? Pick one. Best date, worst date? Um best date. Uh -huh. It was at um one of those four star, five star restaurant actually. Uh -huh. It's um one of those high rise, you know? I was actually impressed. So, so who pay you or she? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was uh, she, you know. I can't go on a date. She can't carry on a date, and me end up on pay, right? So okay, it was actually decent. Right? Uh, alright, cool. I am a respect. Thanks. Yes, mm, alright. What's the tackiest gift you ever get for Valentine's? A stick, sweetie. <laughs> a stick, sweetie. Yeah. What kind? You want with the heart and thing? Yeah, yeah. That the one that will come with the whistle. And the powder in the middle? No, oh, me ain't the one with the whistle that will tell you how mess up it is. So, it didn't even get a chewing gum in the middle? No, none of them things there, so that's the worst one. Out of all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, tell me about tell me about your worst date ever with someone. Nah, I don't want to see that. Come on, man, talk. You, you don't have to call him. You don't have to give no details. Oh, oh gosh, boy. Okay, give me, summarize all right, it. Alright, worst date I go on. Let <laughs> me tell you. Shari, go. Soon as the girls say, I just talk a little bit. So after that, the girls start to talk, 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 talk. The girls talk more than me, so me end up and say, boy, nah. She talk more than she eat all things. <laughs> <laughs> True, I don't know. Uh, respect, eh? I know he's a girl. Everybody know you, right? And they probably had some money, man, in their life, and things like that, right? No. None? No. Everybody been broke? Okay. At one point in time, I'm sure a guy probably love you. So tell me the tackiest gift you ever got in your life. Nothing. Nothing? Mm -hmm. You never got a gift in your life? Never said I never got one. I said that's the tackiest gift. The tackiest gift you ever got was nothing? Mm -hmm. When I expected something, I got nothing. So you get your heart broken and I said, you been, you were disappointed? Yeah. A little? Yeah. Okay. I will, I will ask you another question. What's your war, the worst date you ever been on? Repeat? The worst date you ever been on? You can't either. You can't. You can't. <laughs> oh, tell us about the best. The best. Um, you went out to eat. You, uh, I mean. Yeah. You, you, you ate a lot. Yeah, roses, Rose, champagne, uh, and thing. Ramen. You know, you never know. It could be ramen over. No, no, no. no. So what, what mm -mm. Um, I think it was lapsed and something else. It was an anniversary thing. Oh, okay. All right then, an anniversary thing. All right then, thanks for. Thank mm. Was it tackiest gift? You ever get for Valentine's? For Valentine's? Um, a little pillow markup, I love you. So, uh, it's been real stupid. It's been real stupid? Yeah. It's been hard? You know, get some pillow that's hard. Like, it look like buffalo, like buffaloes inside. Buffaloes? That they think like peanuts so those you don't inside out? Yeah, the old time pillow. So you ever sleep on it? No. You get shot it? No, it didn't make. In me, I'm chill like an ornament. Okay, all right then. <laughs> all right. What's the tackiest gift you ever got from a guy for Valentine's? 
the tackiest gift, the worst gift you ever get from a guy. Uh -huh. A sweetie. A sweetie? What kind of sweetie? Them small hot sweetie, they sell over 50 cents. <laughs> uh, okay, and what about your worst date? The worst date ever go on? With a guy? Never really had no worst date. Never? Oh, tell, tell me about a good one. Ah, no. one too, that's too good to say. Too good to say what he do, he boils some ramen and all, he buy, all he buy some wine and things like that. What? Drink. You got something to eat and drink? Okay, all right then. All right, thanks. <laughs> What's the tackiest gift you ever got from a guy for Valentine's? Nothing at all. Nobody ever gives me anything. Nobody? Nobody. You sound like you're saying I would spite. You're saying I for somebody say it and here. Well, I hope I can get a present this year. Yeah. What about you giving me something? <laughs> if I give you, I have to give you. go like it. <laughs> we go enjoy that. <laughs> All right. I have another question for ask you, right? What is the worst state ever been upon? What a guy? Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> Hello, no. Hello, no. Hello. Hello. Tell, tell me about a bad one, a bad experience when you go out with a guy. Well, I guess you might go to a restaurant, have a drink, then he's looking for you to pay the bill. You know? <laughs> so that happened to you already? Not exactly, but I know it happened to people that I know. Okay, all right. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if a girl carry me out, I know she had a, she has to pay the bill. That's a given. Yeah. What is the worst gift, the tackiest gift you ever get from a girl for Valentine's? You, hold on. Repeat again. The tackiest gift. The worst gift, gift you ever get from a girl for Valentine's. The worst gift me ever get from a girl for Valentine's is nothing. Nothing? Nothing. That's the worst gift. Obviously, people don't like getting gifts, so. Boy, I saw them girls stay now. They always want, but they don't like nothing. True that. Come on. So, my worst gift me ever get from a girl for Valentine's is nothing. Okay, and what about when you go out with a girl? Say, like, you go out on a date with a girl. What's the worst experience you ever get when you go out with a girl? The worst experience me ever get from a girl, the girl stand up and faint. <laughs> We're part of us. Off loads. Off loads. What am I like you? Is it meant to loud hour? Go be drinking, but you look coming too strong for me. Drop down because you overheat. <laughs> All right then. What's you? What's the tackiest gift you ever get from a girl for Valentine's? I don't say nothing because I know you get plenty of gifts from girls already. Unfortunately, um, back in my secondary school days, man. Enough girls never really used to look for me now. Me know, me know, me so, me so never really get anything. Unfortunately, man. As a big man. As a big man. What about, what about as a big man? As a big man? Man, well, we can't give a cockiest gift, but one of the most memorable gifts I ever get was um, something that my ex gave me. She um, gave me this small drink with her, remind me of my grandmother still now. Yeah. So that's the most memorable thing she could ever give me. Aww. Hey, man, she didn't tear under the glasses, I think, boy. Alright, okay. So as a big man now, right? Mm. It, okay, I know you use a guy now, you grow up, you get hot and thing like that. In the gym or whatever, right? So, I want you tell me the best or worst date you ever go upon with a girl. Best or worst date? I know you go upon plenty of dates because I don't see you. Nah, that's not know. Nah, I don't but see you. The worst date me ever go upon, like, go chill with this, this um, Miss Girl. And then she mommy come up and see me same time and pull she go home. <laughs> but yeah, I just eat my burger in peace and roll off after. Yeah. You know, eat all out too? Oh, you know I mean? I <laughs> mean. <laughs> 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 my respect. Uh, what's the tackiest gift you ever got for Valentine's? Never received a tacky gift for Valentine's. So what, well, what's the best gift you ever got for Valentine's? A phone, a couple of roses, a bottle of wine and um, some Magnum chocolates in the box here one time. Mag Magnum chocolate? Can I want chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Magnum is not chocolate? Yeah. Okay, alright. Uh, okay, so well, okay, another question. Going out with somebody, right? What was your worst experience you ever had when you went out with somebody? Um, they invited me out and then I had to pay the bill after. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually end up on pay? Yeah, I paid. <laughs> you say you talk to that person? Um, half and on. That happened a couple years ago though. Yeah. Thank you. Question. What's the tackiest gift you ever get for Valentine's? The tackiest gift right now I get for Valentine's? <clears throat> a sweetie. What, a, what kind of sweetie? A stick sweetie. <laughs> I got a, I'm busy. <laughs>
All right, guys, so you just saw Street Talks, and I'm telling you, that was a lot to take in. <laughs> Some of which were very hilarious. Like, the one that stood out to me was the young lady that said her tackiest gift that she ever got was sex. Uh, why Why yeah, does it's, that It's still up to me because it's not even the said, sex, it's the head. The heads. Yes! She said she ain't come. Was she wicked? She's a woman real ungrateful for Toronto. She was a man who walked him out so much until she come. You know how much prayer <clears throat> you had to put aside to do that Listen to me, in, in all fairness, and me and Portia could relate to yes. this. Some of y'all men don't know. <laughs> Continue. Go okay. Um, I know what that's gonna really talk a little bit <laughs> Um, what? Which one stood out to me? That majority of persons said that they got nothing, nothing. Yeah. for Valentine's. That's what I'm saying. Who, who are you dating? Who are you dating? Yeah. Oh, and, what? and majority of people is guys. So. It's true. What that said about women? Actually, we the ugly ones. Women ain't sharing. Women ain't giving for Valentine's. Just you know, some more. All they just wow, all they just wow, 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 like an ambulance. Yes. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Receive and want it. Voltage and want it. Maybe because. So for, so for this Valentine's, ladies out there, no, you're a guy. So. I don't think so. Now you know what I think is is because we always, when we were growing up, we always used to hear Valentine's is not for you. Valentine is for adult. So you know, I know when somebody used to give me a sweetie and a chocolate, I used to that either is. eat it, eat it school, uh, yes, eat it school, and it. yes, and hide it. And if you get a teddy bear, you used to hide it mm-hmm. because you, yeah, you can get yeah, they used to come and say yes, honey. So them kind of thing, they. So. I remember when I been found when I get a girl a Valentine gift and she parents come after me. You see them because well, I been found on Yeah, been because farmer. automatically now your parents is thinking, oh. You're having sex. Eh? Mm-hmm. Eh? You're having sex. Yes. Yeah. Yes. My um which one stood out to you? To me, the one that stood out to me the most was when the guy said, um, he carried the girl the guy out. He was dead. He carried the girl out that she fit. <laughs> it offers yo. Offers is not a dating place. Well for him, Hello. he's a gangster. It's even so good. Shout out to Cash Buddy. Yeah. It's even so good. Which one stood out to you? The only one stood for me was. Okay. 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 Make sure oh. in a slight way, ask your girl. Well, what is your yeah. yeah. No, just ask her. And your girl no. was well, you ask. Also, oh, plenty. By the moment. Most about itself. By the moment. They yeah. make my girl hint. Yeah, you can't say right. Listen to me, tell you can't go wrong. We like, we like jewelry. We like perfumes. We like high heels. Wah, 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 we like wah, wah. trips. Like an ambulance. Sexy lingerie. Yes. No granny panties. Bingo bag. We like straight jeans. We like clogs. Let me tell you what I like. We like casual t-shirts. Ramen. And we like colonial like Jackie Chan. <laughs> KFC, Subway. Listen, like, I would love to be Rashi's Valentine. Oh. Girl, I gotta love, I gotta love to be your Valentine too. What? <laughs> Oh my god. You can't go wrong. Ramen and chicken francs. <laughs> How? And then it just. You're lush. You're with lips. You're with lips. Keisha, you're gonna blow up lips. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, pull up. That's number one. It, dish, it, it is so. Uh, after I don't eat my food, and I can't eat my food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, you gotta love for me my yeah. Valentine's. Cause anyways, Come you're on. married, Come so on. you just out of the picture. I'm black you out here. <laughs> I can't see what we have. We, we say we have four panel member. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't see mm. nothing. <laughs> and that's a wrap. That was Gender Bias, guys. Be sure to check us out every Thursday at 9 p.m. and we'll be here on Saturdays, 9 p.m. Thank you to our panel members and thank you to our sponsors. Catch you guys next week. Bye. Bye. I'll say bye. 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 Yeah. No, 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 no.